There are different ways in which you can mark a flower that you've pollinated. So, in other words, you're making different crosses on a clavier flower and you want to mark which flower you've put which pollen on. I'm going to show you which method I'm currently using, which is working sort of the best for me at this stage. Hi there, my name is Marnie. Welcome to today's Clivia Talk on Clivias for Africa. Okay, to start off with, let's just assume I'm pollinating this flower with specific pollen. And then I'm taking a different plant's pollen and I am pollinating, let's say, this flower with the other pollen. Okay, so I've got two different flowers and they've been pollinated with pollen from two different other plants. I need to mark this to remember when the seeds are ripe which one is which. Okay, so what you're going to need is just a permanent marker like this one. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first flower that's been pollinated. The sun is not very good. I hope you can see here. I'm just going to make one stripe. There you can see one stripe on the pedestal. And then the other flower that I've pollinated, I'm just going to put two stripes on. So there you go. The one flower, one stripe, other flower, two stripes. Okay, and then the last step is to write right on the peduncle here that let's just say south is one stripe and let's just say apricot two stripes so there you go so you can nicely let me just zoom in there so that's sitting on the peduncle and on the pedestals i've put the different markings there so there you go very easy very simple just get yourself a permanent marker and you're ready to go i hope you enjoyed this video please like and share it on YouTube and also subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time, bye-bye.